It feels like you guys threw in the kitchen sink with this one. Like, there's a lot of it. Like, this is like kind of nostalgia on the screen. Yeah. So I'm curious, like, what led you guys to include like so many of? I mean, pretty much you guys like filled the fan wish list. It feels like with this one. Well, we pay a lot of attention to the fans, and after the first movie, they told us what they wanted. And in the first movie, we tried to put Bebop and Rocksteady in there, and we couldn't fit them in the movie. Talked about having Casey Jones in there. That didn't work out. I mean, in the first movie, we really had to establish who the Turtles were and what that was. In this movie, we felt like we had an opportunity to introduce some other characters. So that was something that we went all the way in on. All the way. <laughs> all the way. It definitely feels like it. I mean, yeah. when you see the. I mean, you saw the first trailer. You saw Rock and Bebop. And you're like, all right, awesome. They're in it. And then you see that there's Krang. So yes. I mean, it really feels like there's like that true attention to, to what fans want is that, and that, and that is, it just feels genuine. It feels like, yes, this is the right way to go. Well, we're fans too. I mean, we make these movies, but we loved, we love this franchise. We love, I, yeah, I love the comics. I love the movies from the nineties, cartoon. I mean, we all love something else. So everyone comes to the table with their version of what the turtles is and wants to integrate that into the movie. So I feel like that's what you're feeling a little bit of, you know, huge turtle fans making a movie about the turtles. And this is your, I mean, you're taking over the reins after the first film. What was this experience like for you jumping into such a huge franchise? It was, it was awesome. I, you know, I grew up with Turtles as a, as a kid, so um, it, was, it was kind of a surreal blast to get to hang out with those characters every day. Um, and it was, it was just, it was a thrill. Um, now, when you started to, like, put your input into the film and stuff like that, I mean... What was there were, there? were there any key things that you're like, this must be in this film? I have to do this. Was there anything yeah. that you really fought for? Like, I really, really want this to be a part of it. Absolutely. I mean, when I when I grew up watching Turtles as a you know cartoon and seeing those '90s movies as a kid, uh, I really knew the difference between one turtle and another. Um, so much to the extent where like you know everyone's got a favorite turtle like I'm sure you've got one uh, mine was Donnie yeah most people is Mikey and you know um, everyone's got a favorite turtle and I really wanted the audience to walk away from this movie feeling like they knew who each brother was in and out and that was that was a something that was really important to me um, now, I, I know that Michael Bay has also served as producer for this. How hands-on was Michael in the overall process of the film as well? Well, Michael and I have made 16 movies together now, so um, we talk multiple times every day about everything that we're doing. So, um, although Michael wasn't on set, he knows everything that happens, and we go to him about every, you know, about every big point that, you know, Bay weighs in. To this, he's doing it today. I mean, he's giving me notes on the cut today. Um, obviously, he's a huge asset for us when it comes to the visual effects and making sure that they look great and that ILM is delivering the best stuff they can. And he's a great partner in that way because he's done all of this before many times and he knows the pitfalls that we can avoid. And so I, I love having him there for us. Awesome. Uh, and then if for you as well, like you're coming from a much smaller film with Earth to Echo and then you're moving on to this. What was it like? What, was the pressure like rather intense with this or did you feel like you had the support that you needed to, to get it done? Oh, both. I mean, there was tremendous pressure, but the pressure kind of drives you every day. So when I was just driving to work every day and you'd see those vans parked outside Madison Square Garden or, you know, we went to Liberty Island to shoot at night. We're like the first movie who shot there at night. It was crazy. But like, it was just shooting in New York, in the scale of New York City. Um, every direction you point the camera has like massive depth and scale and texture. So that was super, super cool. And I just had an awesome team to work with. Um, Pablo Hellman's our visual effects supervisor. He did the first movie. He's such an amazing eye. He's got a great eye and he's a, he's a fantastic asset in that way. And um, it was a blast, yeah. And, and also we would design certain things and and previs too, um, so that was a really cool thing to learn and play with. So we would we would block certain scenes out at first with action figures and say, okay, here's the shot, and we'd shoot it with our iPhone, give it to the previs guys, and we'd bake it up that way. So it was, it was really fun. Um, 